LPT. Enjoy and cherish every second you have with your children during the preteen years you will have spent 75% plus of the time you will ever spend with them up until then, once their lives start, you will see them a fraction of the time over the course of the remainder of your life. One thing you don't realize until later, one day you'll put your child down and never pick them up again. And you're unlikely to remember when that day was. I feel lucky my kids, who are in their early 20s, still love to hug me and involve me in their adult lives. Cherish your kids and tell them often that you love them because time goes by in the blink of an eye. Fuck this. I'm going to pick up my 12 year old today even if it destroys my back removed. Press F for Smellafina, eh. Same goes the other way. I get extremely annoyed and frustrated with my parents a lot, which leads to fighting. My sister-in-law would see that and tell me they aren't gonna be around forever. Really hit me because I'm out of the house and they're getting older. Now I have to try and repair the damage done when I was a moody teenager and make our remaining time together the best I can. Most. Not all understand that you were a teenager and will always love you. Good luck enjoy the journey. Unfortunately sometimes one party can be such a jerk that there's no coming back from it. That goes for either parents or kids. Unfortunately people can't universally forgive you for absolutely everything you have done, especially if you cross certain lines. Being young doesn't excuse everything you do and you weren't always entitled to be forgiven for absolutely everything you have done. Yeah, I really don't think my parents and I have a chance at saving any form of relationship. LPT spend lots of time with the ones you love. At any age. LPT if you're not prepared to love and cherish your child for the entirety of their lives. Don't have kids. Please go back 30 years and tell that to my parents. Raise a loser. Keep them forever. You either make them successful or get to see them. It's true. I'm 28 and still see my mother every day. The hostility between us is real. Oh another one. 31 here. My mother's parents both died in my first two years of life. So my family decided my existence should be to keep my mother company. If it wasn't for the internet allowing me to rebuild my life over the last 10 years. God knows what it have done by now. A book I read called The Primary Age The Golden Years. From about 4 minus 11 they want to spend all their time with you. Then from teens onward they need to become more and more independent from you to be functioning adults. That's why we sold our house. I wound down my business and we moved somewhere cheap at the end of last year. I didn't want to keep spending the golden years working 24 over 7 as a business owner. Stressed out of my head all day. Never having a holiday and wasting the small window of time I had while they're young and want me around. It's been tough, but I don't regret it for one second. You're a good parent. Group hug. Sadly, too many people do the opposite. They find excuses to avoid spending time with their children because they don't know how to communicate with them. And when the children grow up, those parents think they can suddenly have proper adult talks with each other and are devastated that their children don't care much about them. If you manage to be there for your children when they need you, it's much more likely they will be there for you when you need them. While children are not obliged to take care of their parents, it's always good to know you can count on someone. Or the parents treat their kids like dirt during their whole life making their first decade literal hell, then pulling the surprise Pikachu face when their kid leaves them and never comes back. Yes this. My mom was horribly emotionally abusive to me for a large part of my childhood and once I moved out to start college she was shocked I didn't want to see her often. Sorry but I was finally able to escape the abuse so why would I put myself back into it? Because you're my child and owe me respect. Holy fuck if I had a dollar every time I heard that. Well that's heartbreaking. And so very, very true. The saying. The days are long. But the years are short goes along with it. There were days that felt never ending. Where it seemed as though I would never have a moment alone. Now my kids are teenagers and I miss those days. As a guy wrestling a baby to eat right now. After putting my 3 year old to bed an hour ago. Thank you for your comment. It really struck a chord with me. Just a few minutes ago I selfishly had the thought of him never going to get me time again. 
I was being dramatic, but I'm so fucking tired. It's already going fast though, so I know I need to stop and bask in it while I can. Thanks for the perspective. My daughter went to college this year. The moment I hugged her and headed for her dorm room door was literally like a hammer blow. It isn't often in life that in the moment it's happening you have a realization that from that second on your life will never be the same. I know that sounds melodramatic, but in that moment I would have given anything to turn back the clock to the days you're in right now and live a life with her where I was fully present for all the experiences I won't have with her again and let slip past the first time. Cherish what you have. Burn those memories in. This dropping him off at college was devastating. I had a big ugly cry the whole way home. Dropping him off on the first day of kindergarten was nothing compared to this. Well my son is 5, and he said the other day he is going to live with me forever, so I'm good. My 6 year cried when I told her that most people live elsewhere during college. She doesn't want to leave me. I once cried as a child, and when my parents asked what was wrong I told them that I didn't want them to die. I don't remember how old I was, maybe 8 or 9 or so, but I can only imagine how they felt in that moment. We have a good relationship. Visiting them next weekend. Once your kid graduates high school, you will have spent 93% of your time together assuming you both live and above average lifespan. Here's the tail end link. Com slash 2015 slash 12 slash the tail end. HTML, if you wanted an existential this morning. Stop it. I don't have a permission slip for this feels trip. It's 5.30am and I've been up with my daughter for almost an hour. I needed to read this today. She just threw a piece of apple at me. Did you catch it? Did you eat it? We don't waste food in this household. You make her eat it. My dad calls me out for never visiting him. 3 hour drive, but my cars are always shit and unreliable. And whenever he's here in town he never texts me, and I often find out from other family that he was even here at all. So like. WTF. Yeah it's a two way street. If he is in town he should make the effort too. My son is 5 months old. This hits hard. I need to stop paying attention to bullshit and pay attention to my sweet boy. Thanks. My baby is almost 8 months now. As soon as we got to 6 months, she became so much fun. It's been awesome. Lots and lots of laughing. Unbelievably cute and sweet. We had no idea. Just wait. It's going to get so much better. You just wait. It gets even better than that. My oldest is 5 now, and I keep saying this. Just wait. They get bigger and mouthier. Unless they're slow like me, and still living at home with their parents in their mid-twenties. It's a simple equation in my case. My parents have a very low income, that doesn't cover the medicines they need, I make enough to support myself, and pay rent slash mortgage, but I don't make enough to support myself. Pay rent slash mortgage and support my parents financially. Besides, my family has a tradition of having multiple generations living together. So, even if I had a home of my own, I'd rather share it with my parents, or have them live nearby. We are used to take care of each other. This is great. As long as you feel respected, helping each other like you're doing, is better than living alone. This makes me so sad. For most of my children's lives I was a horrible alcoholic. Now I'm a nice alcoholic in recovery, 139 days, and it breaks my heart to think of what they saw, and how much of their lives I missed or can't remember. I'm going to squeeze my 9 year old extra hard in the morning. Fear just psyched you're here now. My parents fought a lot so my dad used to come home every night, kill a 12 pack in the garage, then come in the house, and pass out on the couch did this until I was 13 and my parents separated. At which point he stopped drinking altogether and was dramatically more interested in my life. I didn't gaff about what happened before. Had no time to because I was busy doing this new talking to dad thing that was amazing. Your kids love you and are simply happy with your new presence. Keep up the good work and don't be bashful about just enjoying and loving them fully. You will deserve it. Fear just psyche you're here now. That's nice and all but you really have no idea. Sometimes the damage is done. And a few months of sobriety is not gonna suddenly fix things. 
I worked with a guy whose children were in their early 20s when I had my first child. And the way he spoke about how much he missed those days when his kids were little made me make sure I don't take the time I have now with my little ones for granted and really soak it all up. Time surely does fly. Florida here. If you think having kids means having someone to take care of you when you get older. Let me shine a little reality on that fantasy. Assisted living centers here are full of people who've been dumped by their kids. If you don't believe me, just hang out in the lobby and listen. Why do so many people need to be taken care of when they're older? I don't expect everyone to be completely mobile, independent, and lucid until 100 like some blue zone champion. But it should be people's responsibility to live and stay healthy. Can relate. Our babies are now all adults. We have a great relationship with all of them, but just wish we would have known how fast it world go. 10 years ago they were 11, 9, 8, and 8. Hug them. Do nice things for them. And tell them how much you love them. Worked for us. I've got a 7 and 10 year old and Thea in that sweet spot. It'll be thrilled if we live within an hour of them when they're adults. My kid just turned 15. You have completely ruined my day. If you did it wrong, real life pro tip, foster a shared hobby with your kid so they have a reason and way to go to you, even when they don't know how to talk. Shared being the key word here, your kids aren't exactly like you, find a hobby they enjoy too. Absolutely, as the parent come to them and adopt their interest. I'm a single father and sometimes I get really angry at their mother for not spending more time with our sons. But I'm with them every day. And it's like getting to know someone as they experiment with pieces of their personality and really blossom into who they will be. To me, that's the most precious thing in the world. This is a brutal LPT. But so very very true. I became a yes man earlier this year. Just like it sounds I say yes to everything that my 7 year old asks me to do while playing. At first I thought that he would quickly take advantage of me and run me into the ground, but it's actually not a big deal, and he is absolutely ecstatic about knowing I will always say yes to chasing him or playing with him at first I thought that he would quickly take advantage of me and run me into the ground, but it's actually not a big deal, and he is absolutely ecstatic about knowing I will always say yes to chasing him or playing with him. He glitched your matrix. LPT. Don't have kids. Won't get your heart broken by some snot nosed punk who smells like weed when they come home and thinks that incense will cover up the smell. We all know you're a pothead. Jessica. Just own up to it. Mom. I'm 61. I can do what I want. Well fuck. I've been thinking about this a lot actually. My son is 6 months old and sleep is hard to come by sometimes. The last few days the only way I can get him to fall asleep is if he falls asleep while I'm holding him. Which means I don't sleep because I'm sitting in a chair with a sleeping baby and if I move one inch, he wakes up. And if he wakes up, my wife can't sleep and my wife hasn't slept in 6 months. I just keep reminding myself that this isn't going to last forever and that I need to enjoy these tender moments with the snuggles and whatnot. And then I read this shit and I'm feeling all emotional. It must be the lack of sleep. Or I'm a big fucking softy now. Either way, who cares? My son fucking rules and I love the shit out of that kid. I had flashbacks while reading this. I was in your exact situation just a few months ago. My daughter is now 15 months old and sleeps all night for 8 to 11 hours straight. Sometimes she'll wake up once or twice, but it's rare now. It will get better and just enjoy your time with them. And for you sanities it's okay to admit that it really sucks. I've had overnight Netflix and you out of binge sessions while the baby sleeps on my arms. Two occasions that the baby was sleeping on my chest and I was hungry, but if I move she'll wake up. So I just ignored my hunger, then having to work more trying to put her back to sleep. Babies at 7 to 9 months will be better at recognizing routines and cues. Get a lullaby slash white noise machine with night lights. On the night or day that you are well rested. Start putting her down. And if she wakes up or squirm put your hand to her chest or back with a slight pressure so she can still feel you. Then walk away. 
she might only stay sleeping for a few minutes, but that will start increasing if you stay consistent. I also learned that babies are way tougher than we give them credit for, so it's okay for them to cry for a bit if you are losing your cool already. Because the moment you pick them up they're so tired but feels instantly safe, so they sleep quicker on your arm. We also bought an Amazon Basics breathable foam queen bed topper then placed it on a baby playground fence on the floor. Only use light blankets it literally looks like an adult crib on the floor. This will help so much for those nights that baby just absolute refuses to cooperate at all. That way even if they sleep on you, you will also be able to get some sleep and naps knowing that the baby is safe. I have PTSD just thinking about those early months he. You can do this. Got no kids and am 42. Yes problem solved. I was leaving them locked in the basement cages till this tip. I'm going to start spending time with them now. Thanks op. LPT keep the cage next to the couch. Then you can spend time with them and keep them the hell in line at the same time. Time to call my parents. Hey, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.